Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here at Baxter Cycle in the mighty Minneapolis of Marnie, Iowa. And check out what we have today. This is a Royal Enfield Himalayan Scram 411, air-cooled. The old air-cooled model. The old air-cooled, they just, you know. <laughs> anyway, uh, this one has been rigged up pretty good, but I really want to show you the bags. These Rhino Walk bags. I've been uh, looking at these for quite some time. I did some talking with Baxter's and uh, they have uh, bought a bunch of them. And I think that they are pretty darn cool. I'm going to put these on my Himalayan. That's not my Himalayan, but I have a Himalayan like this. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll need to take a look at that bike, don't we? Anyway, when I'm going to put them on mine, I think I've got a different style on But look at these things. So these are 20, 230 liters. They expand up to 30 liters bags. They're removable. You pull this little strap here. These little things pop off. There's a little clip on the bottom down here. One clip only. And the whole bag just comes off. Same with the other side. This side, they've got this little heat shield here to keep it off the pipe. And uh, when you pull them off, you can just grab these straps and carry them. And we'll carry them like a uh, shoulder bag if you want. And there actually is a pad that goes on here if you want it. We didn't put it on that uh, you can use as a shoulder strap. It's really a neat bag. They've got these external bags right here. Oh, wow. Oh, there's, there's that strap I was talking about. I've got little pockets in there. You've got these little hooks here that you unhook just like that to get in there. <laughs> Bear with me, guys. So you do that. I think you undo these clips here. Let's see. Let me do it. One, two over here. Oh, look, reflectors. And then the top opens up like this. I, I don't know what they have in here, by the way. <laughs> just stuff. Okay. And then you roll top it close like that. Very nice. I wonder how they expand. I mean, I mean, I wonder if that's how they expand the extra. So you roll them up like that and you zip them. Now you get the extra 10 liters. So they go from 20 to 30 liters. Very nice. I'm looking for any other things. Reflectiveness here. These little things here to cinch them up tight. Anyway, it's a very interesting bag. Um, and that's the bag all opened up. And to get them off the bike, you this little strap here, there's little clips here like this. You just pull that little strap, that comes off, and then there's a strap at the bottom. Apparently I, I have it unhooked already, and the whole thing just comes off like that. So pretty darn neat. The other neat thing about this is this little bag here, and this is a six liter. They make other sizes that are larger. Oh, $169 for the pair. $169 for the pair. Amazing. I'm gonna be getting a set of these, not this exact model. We'll try them out, we'll see how they hold up. <laughs> see if they take the miles. Anyway, so this, back to this one. This is a, a six liter bag, and I've just kind of fallen in love with that thing. So same thing, it straps on, but check this out. You pop these off like that. Look at that. And now you've got the bag. You can, uh, there's a handle right here. I don't know if there's a shoulder strap for this one. Um, yeah, it looks like there's a little external pouch here. Oh, that's so you can put these straps back in here if you want them. Yeah, interesting. Uh, roll top to open it again. That's metal. Are these all metal? Yeah, those are those are metal. Those are metal. These uh, these are metal fasteners. And then to open it, you you know pop them open like this, and then just unroll the top. And this also has a zipper. I wonder if the zipper. You know what? I think the zipper is to get the liner out. That's what it is. There's a liner in there, so you can unzip the, the thing and get the liner out, and you can wash the liner out. I wonder if this is the same way. Yes, it is. Okay, I get it. I get it. Ah, look, side pocket right here. So you can keep stuff in there. It's easier to access stuff. I like that. I like that a lot. So I was looking at this kind of all smitten. Now the bag's un opened up now, but I was going to see if I could figure out how to make it fit on my Himalayan over here. I keep my chain lube and helmet cleaning stuff and just extra stuff. Just have one on one side, maybe. But I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that yet. But uh, it's a very interesting system. Rhino Walk has a whole line of products. And uh, we're going to get more of it. Baxter's going to get more of that in. As they get it in, we'll take a look at it. And uh, uh, one of the things that sold me on them earlier, one of me that got me interested on them was uh, there's a fellow on YouTube. I can't think of his name. Ryan something or another. I'll try to put it down below right now. And he has uh, he's circumvented all of Australia. He's a photographer and a YouTuber. Now he's up in the Himalayan somewhere, and he doesn't sell the bags, but he has a set of these Rhino Walks on his bike of the uh, a different style. And uh, that really uh, 
you know, sold me on, you know, if, if he's using them and he's doing all that traveling, they must be durable. So we're going to find out here in ourselves. But uh, anyway, so back to the bike. It's got the bags on it. They put a center stand on that. Uh, the uh, 411 Scram does not come with a center stand. They added a center stand to this bike. They put the uh, compact engine guards. It's got the uh, oil cooler protector right here. Uh, GV windshield right here. Handguard protectors right here. And these are tough. My Himalayan, my 411 that I had, uh, I dropped it one time. It, came, it landed on the handguard protector and it uh, did not break. So I was, I was sold on that. Check that out. Isn't that neat? Let's see what else they've added to this. Anyway, it's a neat little bike. These are uh, air-cooled single, two valve per cylinder, 24 horsepower. I think it's 24 foot-pounds of torque, which is 32 newton meters. Five-speed transmission. They're, they're rock-solid engines. I had one of these for three years, the, the standard Himalayan model. And um, I put 31,000 miles on it. Still, the day I traded it off, it still ran like a charm. You know, it was just a great bike. Very good motorcycle. It's got the stock exhaust. They've got a, this one has a 19 inch front tire. The Scram has a 19 inch front tire. It has a lot lighter handling because of that. It still has a 300 millimeter disc on the front with a dual piston vibrary caliper. I think it has a 270 millimeter on the back with a single piston vibrary caliper. Travel is a little over seven inches here. I think that's 180 millimeters. And I think it's about the same on the front. But isn't that just a beautiful bike? If y'all are interested in something like this, a new used Royal Enfield Triumph classic British bike of any type, need parts, accessories, thingamajigs, doodads, windscreens, rhino walk bags, <laughs> get yourself over here to Baxter Cycle in the mighty metropolis of Marnie, Iowa. They do ship motorcycles, so uh, you know if you're living far away, give them a call. Maybe they can work out a deal with you. Uh, it's a beautiful day here. No, it's not. It's raining outside. That's why we're in here. <laughs> <laughs> so I am not going to go ride motorcycle, but if it's if it's a beautiful day where y'all are at, get out there and get off the couch, get out there and ride. Life is good. Wow. Once you get used to it, it's pretty. pretty Nice. You go into a parking lot and do that, people look at you like, what the hell?